Hey guys, Mr. Bellion here. I just want to give a big heads up. We're gonna to Brian LeMay because we were gonna do the perpetual bounce uh, activity. We already did it in 2D, referencing his book. This is the man. You guys are interested in animating? I would say go to the animation cartoon factory. Look up Brian LeMay here online. He is the man with the resources. Okay, talk about the animation books and so on. Just want to give a big shout out for the man. Uh, his work really gets into the meat of it. It's not just the how-to uh, in terms of buttons and stuff. This is where you take classical animation and you can apply it in, a class, uh, in the classroom, folks. Any high school teachers out there that are possibly watching this or students of animation, I highly recommend this. Clearly this one as well, but this is getting under the hood, okay? This is overall excellent insight with Richard, insights from Richard Williams, including the iPad version. It's fantastic. This is where it's at. I'm using this book right now, and we in class have worked on the perpetual ball bounce, uh, working on it in 2D. And now we're moving ahead. And I just want to show you guys some of the steps that I'm going to go through here to do this. Okay, and I brought the picture in from Brian. And we know that we're going to animate on two. So these numbers will change. But here's just a rough blocking in step mode of, of just the ball bounce, okay, without squash. So let's just remember we have to work uh, in layers, okay, animation. What I've learned on my own is like working in layers is the, is the best thing you can do right now. Okay, so the first step again here is in step, get your keys down based on the flow chart here. And then we're going to go to squash. I'm going to add squash at this one. So if we watch this one, you'll see there's a squash going on. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. From there, I'm going to move to, to uh, squash and stretch. Let's see this one. Okay, command L, it loops. And then I'm going to press here. And then now you can see that there is an actual stretch going on. Okay. All right. So there it is. That's, that's the next stage. And I'll keep going here so you can see here I took it from step to spline mode. I'm going to just show you this, what that looks like as well. So the keys are, are working a lot better. Notice there's a little jitter in the top, and that's because we haven't looped it at 22. We're repeating 23 and 24. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to go into polish stage. So there you go. This one, let me just uh, loop it here. And we're just working in the keys in, in Maya itself. I'm, I'm working on the tangents. Polish 2, it looks like this. Just a little subtleties, okay, guys? And then I'm going to add a bit of lighting here. Check it out. Not bad. Okay, and you, you really want to spin this. But for now, guys, we got to do things in steps, okay? No rotations. It's just simply that, okay? And here it is when it's actually without... I, I'm looping it at 22 now. So there's no jitter at the top, okay? So one... So you can see this, and hopefully you guys are seeing this out there. Um, I'm watching in real time. I don't know if this is going to be recorded with uh, the software. But altogether, this is where I'm going, okay? So maybe I'll shut it down here. Uh, it's Mr. Ballion. Again, thank you to Brian LeMay to give us the foundation here and all my other teachers I've worked with, the other schools, uh, to help me get this far. So let's do this. I'm going to go to stage two after this. Okay, cool. Bye. Ballion out.